stage now on my And yeah, you want to hear my full thoughts? Then stick around for the video and you can hear my full thoughts on the book. And then yeah, so then you can love it and you can read it too. It'll be magical. I don't read epic fantasies. It's not my genre. So this is one of the first ones that I've ever read. So don't hold that against my review. Winged beast are ah, fire. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a review for a book called The Dragon's Blade, The Reborn King, and it is by Michael R. Miller. I was contacted by the author, and I wasn't sure about it at first because it's an epic fantasy, and I don't read epic fantasies, but I thought that I would get out of my comfort zone a little bit and try it out. So I accepted his offer, and he sent me the ebook version, and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 3.5 stars out of 5 on Goodreads. So without further ado, let us get started! I just want to start the video off by saying that this book, characters' names are really confusing, so I am probably going to pronounce them all wrong. I'm sorry, I don't read epic fantasies, and epic fantasies always have weird character names. Why? I don't know. It's just what ends up happening, apparently, so if I mispronounce these names, I'm sorry, but... It's gonna happen. So the book follows Denier, and he is the Prince of Dragons, but dragons are no longer like those winged, fire-breathing beasts anymore. They're actually human forms, and they just have like enhanced abilities like stamina and strength and things like that, but they're no longer are the like typical dragon you think of. After a dramatic battle with the three races, which are humans, fairies, and dragons, Denier is seriously injured, and the only way that he can be saved is through a rebirthing spell that will bring him back to being an infant. This spell takes away all his memories from his life before, and essentially he is just another human, and he doesn't remember his life as a dragon, so it's decided that he is going to be raised by humans, in particular a hunter named Cosmo and his lover Grace. So when he is of age, he is rightfully allowed to wield the Sword of the Dragon King, which is called the Dragon's Blade. And hopefully he can use this blade in order to stop this fight, battle, war against the demon. I thought that the world building in this book was really good. I thought it was really entertaining. I loved the incorporation of all the different races. There was humans, wizards, fairies trolls, dragons. I just thought it was really interesting because I don't read many epic fantasies, so to have all of those all in one book, I feel like it's probably been done a million times, but I loved it. There was one troll named Ochnik, I think his name was, something like that, but he was my absolute favorite character in the whole book. I really wish that he was incorporated more. I loved him. He was so funny and cute, and I just wanted to hug him, even though he was like seven feet tall. You know, tall boy heaven. It's fine. <laughs> kind of. Trolls count as boys, maybe. You know, you could date a troll. It'd be weird, but you could do it. I don't know. I thought that the beginning of the book was a little slow and it took me a while to get into, but I feel like that's usually the case with epic fantasies from what I've heard. So as long as you push through the first little bit of the book, it gets very fast-paced and very entertaining quickly after that. I thought that the magic system in the book was a really cool new twist on magic systems. It was basically that the magic was like poisonous to your body and it just, it was really interesting because usually it's just like people are like, pow pow, magic, pew pew pew, I can use whatever I want. But that wasn't the case in this book, so it was really interesting to see how that was incorporated. A couple of the characters I didn't really care for, like Eve or Balak, I think his name was, I just thought they were really one-dimensional and they were just kind of thrown in the story just so that there was a kind of plot that could go along with it. I felt that Eve was kind of just thrown in there to like develop like a tension between two of the characters and it just kind of was annoying because she didn't really seem like she needed to be in the story so it was just kind of like, okay, she's just there to cause conflict, and I don't like characters that just cause conflict. I understand that's probably the point of her character, but I did not enjoy her at all. I did really like Cosmo and the wizard Brackadin. I thought they were both very interesting characters. I didn't really care for Denier at the beginning of the book, and I kind of was just like, I hope you fail at life. But as the book went on and the story continued, I started to like him a lot more, and I understood why he did the things that he did, and I understood his predicament more. But in the beginning, I was like, I hate you. Please die. Please die. And then he was reborn, and I was like, damn it. But I mean, it makes sense because it's called the Reborn King, but I was like, no! I really enjoyed learning the backstory about the wars and everything that went down previously to the beginning of the book. 
and I felt that there were a couple plot twists that I could easily call but then there were a lot that I wasn't able to call which I found exciting because as we all know I hate being able to call books but this one I wasn't able to call a lot of the things that happened so that was exciting to me. There were a couple of spelling errors which if you guys know me I'm like a grammar Nazi so it kind of bothered me a little bit but it might just be because I got the ebook version and the physical print book might be different. There wasn't enough spelling errors to take away from the enjoyment of the story. I just It's just something I noticed because I noticed those things because I'm a freak. So that was the only thing that really bothered me about the book. Overall, I really did enjoy the book. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It was really entertaining and I would recommend it to you if you like epic fantasies with unique magic systems. Alright guys, so that was my review of The Dragon's Blade, The Reborn King. I think it's going to be made into a series. I'm not 100% sure, so do not quote me on that. So, I will see all of you beautiful little children. Or adults. You're probably mostly adults. Who knows? I don't. But I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Goodbye!